As the dance of the dragons unfolds, the house of the dragon has experienced significant change. Both sides have won and lost allies as a result of the widespread death and damage. In season 2, neither of them possessed battle-ready forces. They are actively fighting right now and getting ready for more. Since Eamon became regent, the greens have become more vicious. Renera and Aegon both fight the battle differently, using their resources and advisors to gain an advantage. The speed advantage belonged to the greens. Their allies were expecting them to seize the throne prior to Viserys' demise. Even though Rook's rest was difficult for their warriors, they were swiftly prepared for fight with three separate armies already in motion. The allies of the Blacks are still being sorted out in the interim. Demon has caused more instability in the Riverlands but has acquired both the Blackwoods and the Brackens, Jane Aaron does not appear to have sent the Vale's army yet, and the promised Northmen have a long way to go. If the Vale keeps their word, the Greens have a numerical edge even if they are going faster. The Dragons themselves are, of course, the primary benefit of the Dance of the Dragons. The only force standing between these living, breathing combat machines and an army is each other. They would be at a disadvantage without Vagar's bulk because Sunfire is injured and Dreamfire hasn't joined the battle yet. Although the Blacks are in greater numbers, a few of them are too little to ride. The Blacks and the Greens both own combat dragons, but there are a lot of unclaimed dragons and Adam of Hull, Seasmoke's new rider, hasn't pledged his allegiance. The plan is for the Lannister host to march on Harenhal and retake it from Demon after amassing a sizable army. On the other hand, Jason Lannister stops traveling because he won't leave Vagar without Eamon going with him. To be fair, Demon's dragon guards Harenhal, therefore the Lannister army is in serious danger. However, Eamon, who is embracing his role as regent for his brother, is annoyed by the holdup. He says he will meet the men at Harenhal and declines to fly with them. Before they can resupply, Eamon rushes Cole and his diminished company into combat once more, both sides have their sights set on the Riverlands, but because Demon has already arrived, the Greens' attack must be coordinated. The Blacks have implemented a number of strategies that are beginning to bear fruit. Steve Toussaint's character Corlys Valerion formally assumes the role of Hand of the Queen, offering a reliable viewpoint that the men in Renera's council will not challenge. Renera decides to demonstrate her strength in the hopes of becoming the next Queen Visenyao, even if they still have doubts about her and advise her to retake Rook's rest rather than look for more dragon riders. Rena learns from the Vale that Regio, Prince of Pentos, will provide the refuge Renera and her younger half-brothers need throughout the conflict. This strategy should safeguard Renera's ancestry, which is especially important given the brutal start of the conflict that showed no one is safe, not even young children. However, Renera's supporters are not just engaged in plotting in Dragonstone. Demon has been a source of frustration for her, but at least they have a shared objective as he still opposes the Greens. Demon had to move more slowly because of his visions. He tried to enlist the Riverlands, but as they awaited the declaration of their dying liege lord, Grover Tully, he came to a standstill. Grover Tully is finally dead. Alice Rivers, who had earlier vowed to assist Demon, gave the sick lord medical attention, yet, Grover's death is not thought to have been suspicious. As a result, Grover's successor Oscar is now able to choose the Riverland side. The visions of Demon Man might support either the Blacks or the Greens after his meeting with Oscar didn't go well. However, Renria has stronger negotiators than Demon, who might be more persuasive.